Hello, everybody, and welcome. Yeah, I think a lot of people that have watched my channel for a while know I'm a prog nerd. I really am. I've been loving progressive rock since 71 when I was buying my first progressive rock albums. So, I, yeah, I've been doing prog for like 50 years. I've got lots of experience in listening to the prog, definitely. And uh, I just wanted to share my top 10 favorite prog records. And then I've got a few honorable mentions, of course. You know how, how I roll, folks. So, first one is House on the Hill Audience. And one of the things about progressive music, it's always great musicianship. They get keyboards usually, and they'll have saxophones and flutes and great guitar work and great singing and just great lyrics and uh, the whole that's the whole package folks they don't it's just not a five piece band a lot of times they do a lot of stuff and some of the really great keyboard players in the world are um in progressive music that's why it's progressive and one for one of the senses of it and an album like this one is uh this is a uk first edition gatefold cover and uh Finally, after years, I did buy it on the, uh, they call that the Pink Scroll, the famous Charisma label. It's pink, so they call it the Pink Scroll label. And uh, one of my, if not my, favorite record in my collection. I just love this record. So I've kind of made this record, a lot of people, I've talked about it on my channel before, but if you're new to the channel, uh, these are some of my favorite records. So just to get an idea, what do I like? And maybe, hey, you might like it too. Because uh, over the years, a lot of people I've showed records and they'll say, Ron, you're costing me lots of money because, man, I never knew about that record and it's so good. So some of you old timers, you're not going to learn much today. But hey, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to share the video if you think someone else might like these records that I'm going to show. And of course, like the video, all that stuff. That YouTube likes all that stuff. You know how it is. Now we got Van der Graaff Generator. The least we can do is wave to each other. Yeah, this is one of my favorite records of all time right here. This is more of a, what am I say, heavy progressive, but it's it's not as uh, easy to get into this stuff. But Peter Hamel, his singing on here is great. Lots of saxophones. This one's got some really good fuzz guitar and stuff in it. Unlike a lot of the other Van der Graaff records, this one does have some good guitar work on it. And this one is uh, Back on Black Records. It was reissued about seven, eight years ago. It's a 2LP. So it's, and it does sound fantastic. I do have the pink scroll of this record as well. The pink scroll is a little bit better sounding, but this I got brand new. And so I'm really, really happy to have that. And of course, it's still in the shrink and all that. You know who I am. It's not sealed, of course. Here's an, probably my third favorite record, Camel Mirage. Again, a lot of keyboards on here, great singing, great guitars, just a fantastic record. I mean, in every sense of the word, this is Camel's best record by far. This is a record that put him on the map. And I bought this record, not this particular one, but I bought it brand new, 1974, from the record store. Like a lot of these records are, I bought them the year they came out. It's not like I just... And it was like a buy and buy. I saw the camel and I was talking to the guy in the record store. He says, yeah, these are good. Blah, blah. So I bought this and actually Tarumpha Rap, which I should have put in the, in the, in the pile, but now I'm just remembering now. Two really heavy, heavily keyboard oriented bands. But wow, what a record. And I think, I know most of you know the record and you know why I'm showing it up here. But if you don't, just make, make a little list and uh, have a listen on YouTube later. Genesis, Selling England by the Pound. I've showed this many times. To me, this is a masterpiece right here. It's by far the best Genesis record, in my opinion. You know, that's what my show's about, my opinion. Uh, if, you're not, if you're not familiar with Genesis or this record itself, jot that one down. And, of course, I got it on that Classics record because, of, you know, when I really, really love a record, I try to go find, you know, a really, really nice one of it. Got to spend your money somewhere. Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Right. We're talking about what? We're talking about great keyboards. We're talking about great drumming and guitars and all that stuff. 
it's all right here and just great songs and this is about my favorite uh emerson lake and palmer record really really loved it. tarkas yeah as probably most of you do then we got the moody blues every good boy deserves favor what a wonderful record this is and i had a mofi i had but some different ones but i came on the occasion this is the uh, Japanese first edition. It's got a beautiful textured cover, very thick cover, nice big gatefold, and uh, it's on a white label, but it's not a promo, but it's just the threshold label when it was white. This goes to show you that it's an OG. And this one, this particular record, sounded better than the MoFi. The MoFi was on the 200 gram anodisc, just like the, the Tarkus record that I showed from the 90s when they, it came out. And when I bought this, not this particular copy, I'm not sure, but I did a comparison and yeah, I really like, this is, they sound so good, you know, these original Japan pressings and the cover and everything is really, really nice. Solar Fire by Manford Man's Earth Band. What a masterpiece. Another masterpiece. The guitar work on this. You know, Man for Man's not known for having a great guitarist. I don't know, this guy on here, if I can quickly find it, probably not. It's one of those things you should look at before. We've got uh, Mick Rogers on vocals and guitar. Of course, Man for Man's on the synthesizer and the organs and all that stuff. Yeah, they really... This is 73, so they're really putting the synthesizers, kicking them in and all that. And the guitar, and the, and the songwriting. Phenomenal. And I know everybody, if, they see, if you hear this, you're going to really like this record. This is his, by far his best one. It's like stands above so far of the other ones. It's not any like those later ones, like Binded Belay the Light and any of that. Those are like pop music compared to this. That's progressive rock right there, folks. Of course, you know, if you're going to talk about progressive rock, i got to throw in some Dress for Tall. This is my favorite kind of more progressive of all the Dress for Tall records. I really love the Passion Play. A lot of phenomenal guitar playing, again, on this. And Ian Anderson's flute. You know, that's what progressive's about. It's about different instruments. Flute and keyboards and saxes. A lot of times there's flute in influence a lot of times in, in progressive rock. Jethro Tull, a passion play. Phenomenal. Now, it's one of those records that does take a couple of listens because it's not a normal type of record. It's a concept album, of course. And, yeah, love it. And, of course, you got to have Yes in there, Progressive Rock. I could have probably pulled up, pulled up two, three more Yes records, but I have Yes Fragile, which... Close to the Edge is right there. They're both great. I love both of them. And, but I pulled out Fragile because I really, that was the first, you know, one of the first records I heard of Yes. I really like this Fragile. What a great record. Okay, here's one folks might not be, might probably be surprised because it's getting a little ahead of stuff. Jade Warrior. Yeah, they got the flute. They got all that stuff going on in here. Really good, really cool music. Jade Warrior. And of course, these were on the Swirtle back in the day. Really good record. Let me come to some Pink Floyd. Of course, you know, everybody's going to have Pink Floyd in their top ten. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be rock, jazz. I'm not saying jazz, but their top ten favorite records. And of course, the top ten progressives, you're going to have some Pink Floyd in there. Animals is right up there. It's one of my favorite ones. It's maybe not the ultimate best. It's right there. So it's a tie. I love Pink Floyd and I love animals as everybody does. So it's going to be in the list, right? Beggar's Opera. Pathfinder. Beggar's Opera. They've got their first three, four records are really good. I've got them all. And I really love Pathfinder. And I could have picked any one of those first four or five records. Again, really good. The good keyboards and guitar and all that stuff. Progressive rock. Really good. Okay, now we get to the honorable mentions because I got, I got the 10 records in. But, you know, you got to have that in your top progressive records, right? Dark Side of the Moon. Everybody. 
knows that's going to say, well, how's it so far back, Ron? Well, you know, it's, it's, it made it. Then we've got brain salad surgery from Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. This record does not get enough love. This is such a great, phenomenal record. It doesn't get enough love from me. I need to play this a lot more than I do. This is a great record here. Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, brain salad surgery. There it is. And of course, we no Prague video would be complete without little King Crimson in there. And of course, you know, this is a classic record here, and I've got it on the Inner Knot, which was one of the first reissues done with the original Astro Tape, which was lost for many years. And the cork of the Crimson King is the name of this record. King Crimson in the Court of the Crimson King. Most of you know the record. If you don't know it, it's one of those prog records you need to have a listen to, folks. It takes a couple listens on that one. And you got to have, for progressive music, you got to have Project Gemini people. And I will leave a link down below to Mark Anthony K. He's the guy, he's the, he is Project Gemini. And he is a, he's coming up with a new record soon. So I'll leave a link to his channel and then you can contact Mark. I'll even I should leave a link to the band camp. You can go there and buy his new record. They're on pre-order right now. Great guy Mark is. Great band. Heavy, kind of heavy, kind of more like a, a rush type of progressive metal. This is what he does. Kind of progressive. But it's a little bit, that guitar's got a little more of that metal sound in it, even though it, it is progressive music. And look how nice Mark is. He signs the records, right? They're on green vinyl. It's got a poster. He's got, the, it's signed and everything. So he's a record collector, people. He really takes care of his people. He does all the stuff right. Got the, you know, the polyline inner sleeve in there. Really, really nice. Again, how can you do... A top progressive albums and not have Aqualung in there. Aqualung is one of my favorite records of all time. i played this as much as any record that I've got. Love it. Now a little bit of more of that newer progressive rock. Porcupine Tree. This is Fear of a Blank Planet. I've got a couple other ones that are just as good as this one that I could have put up here. I just figured I'll pull uh, Fear of a Blank Planet by Porcupine Tree. I'll put this one up here. And Absentia and a couple other ones. Really, really good. This time area for them, Porcupine Tree are so, so good. Modern progressive rock that I love. Really good stuff. And here's one we don't hear much about. This is Badger. One Live Badger. Just a really good progressive rock record with a lot of great guitar work on it. And the last one, last but not least, Ambrosia. Really, really good record here, folks. Does not get a lot of love on the on uh, around the VC or around, but one of my favorite records, a top progressive record. So I hope you enjoyed all the Prog Nerds records. From my progressive rock collection which I really really that's one of my favorite genres of music so thanks for tuning in and don't forget to leave some comments down there let me know what you think of my music or the records or the channel and all that kind of stuff I really like comments I try to answer everyone and thanks for watching bye for now